going to put him to six under par. Corey can get up and down. He's going to stay at 12. I can't imagine anybody on the course kind of beating that score right no, now. No, that's So not. we're looking at our leader. Six back is so doable. A lot of times when you see people fly this green, they're really challenging that railroad tide that denotes the out-of-bounds area. Macbeth, there's no danger. That was just a perfect shot. Ricky's might try the high route because he has that next kind of level. He does go Yeah, high, he's going out around. Oh, oh yeah. that's fantastic. Oh, my goodness. That's, like I said, that's, that's elite right there. That is so much power. He gets a little love through the trees, too. I mean, at any point, he hits any of those, and those yeah. things are just stoppers. Santa doesn't like those tri those discs coming in his no, trees. No, he doesn't. Mm. Death from the ditch. He's got a green light go here. Green light in. <laughs> nice putt from Paul. That's the thing about that guy. He catches a good break, and he knows how to capitalize. I mean, this is just zipping. I think of all the great attributes of Paul McBeth, that might be the number one attribute. Like, he takes advantage of opportunities in a way that, like, he almost, like, in his brain convinces himself that he deserved the break. I mean, Gannon Burr, the way he's throwing shots in the woods, yeah, sub him in. You know who I think would... Oh, oh my gosh. He just oh, trying to go Dave Felberg on hole three. I don't. I can't say who I was going to say now because we're we're going with Gannon. Sit down, he says. Yeah, he knows it's coming to his team. And just don't forget, Gannon Burr's first ever ace was earlier this year in the skins match. Because the height and the aim is right every time? Yeah, but you could put a different body right there, and then it doesn't look as makeable. <laughs> I guess. Three bombs this round for Macbeth. Does he split them? Oh right, through it. Just I feel like that's the I feel like that's the pure line is between those two trees because of how left it has to drift. Look at the commitment through that throw. And you'll just take whatever you can get once you split the line and just rip it through there. But Corey will definitely take the park job for the birdie on 16. Huge shot. Oh, what? <laughs> tried to make it. Oh. He tried to make it. Totally. There was no layup in that. He even leaned into it. I mean, this is just a thing of beauty. Wow. Okay. And just hitting the top on the last hole with the forehand, probably the same disc. <laughs> that was really cool. Corey going direct line at it, and this is looking really, really good. Oh, my. Oh, Corey Ellis is dialed. What did you have for breakfast, young man? Eat it for the rest of your life. Just don't. This drop killed him. We've seen some aces from the short tee, but I 
don't believe we have any aces on video from the long. What a shot from Corey. Linus is saying, come on, man, just give him a lift. This is great. Two off the cage for Gannon. I had, I truly had no clue that he did what he did on three or what he did right here on eight. This is, I didn't even hear about this. Oh, it was perfect too. And could you imagine if actually hit the ball That would just been the worst. Look at, he kind of got a good break to stand bounds. He did. And <laughs> Corey saying, I did that yesterday. Raven from deep. What a putt. Always nice to wait for it. And you're not even waiting for your disc to go in. You're waiting for the applause, really. Yeah, that was high enough that I think he probably knew right out of his mm -hmm. game. Oh. <laughs> That's a good one. This Are you sick. checking on the cameraman to see if you've got a good angle? Raven, what are you doing? Raven! With the quiver? Wow. Ravenhood? Look at what the heck just happened. I think he just, it. I think he just went Ravenhood. Can we tell him that he's not supposed to run that? He hearted that. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what? And to check on the cameraman. Just like, hey, are you rolling? Hey, you in position? Because <laughs> I'm about to. Are, are about you doing to... your job? Because I'm about to do mine. Let's call it 60 feet. Call it in. Right side. Getting the height right from that range. Wow. Look at it just keep going up. Oh, that's, that's awesome. just perfect. Nose angle control and puts the power behind it. Yep. And the smile. That's three outside the circle putts in a row for Raven now. Going back to eight and nine. Has it been four in a row? N not yet. Oh, you're saying now oh it is. Gosh. And you're saying that's number four in a that's row. That's four in a row for oh, Raven. What? And he pulls out the Raven hood once again with the <laughs> the bow and arrow. Nice catch in the basket. I mean, he's choosing MVP discs on an orange or an orange MVP discs on an orange MVP basket. He's he's doing good things right now at his sponsor's main event. I just can't believe that's four in a row. Sitting oh, high. high a little bit. Wait, what? That's in the basket? This little sneaker. Wait, hold on. Hits that the hits top. the pole. Did it go through the basket? I have never seen this before, Paul. Oh. I have been playing I... this golf for 16 years, and I have never seen a disc hit the top slide over and down and in, and I've tried so many times in this, my putts to make them going that way. 